In this video, I am talking about the 10 things I hate and love about Italy. But this is interesting. You will find something that I don't like and something that I like and they're kind of related. So why I don't like it, but then I like it at the same time? Let's find out. Let's start by the 10 things I don't like. The first thing I need to say is the driving, okay? I traveled in five continents and this is my point of view when I go somewhere. From the street, from the way cars, motorbikes drive, you can tell how the country is run. In Italy, you see cars in one lane. Uh, if you go to Rome, to try and go into one door, you know, an old Roman door, you have 20 cars trying to go in. Everyone is synchronized, no accident. But everyone lives in a mess on the road. It, it is messy. Nobody respects pedestrian crossing. Uh, nobody cares about the other one. I don't understand that. So because of the driving is a mess on the streets, I believe the country is also a mess. And in fact, we're going to the next thing I don't like, I hate, is the politics in Italy. Politics just, it's bad, it's very bad in Italy. And you can see it from the street. You can see in offices, the whole system, it's, it's not good. So I'm not a politician, I don't know how to fix it, but I don't like politics in Italy. The number three is the pedestrian crossing. It's something that I mentioned before already, and I'm gonna say it again. When you come to Italy, be careful at the pedestrian crossing. They don't stop. They're starting to stop, but the majority of people don't stop. They go fast, and just be careful, okay? Just wait. Or maybe go to the, to the uh, traffic light where it's a little bit safer. Number four, I don't like that everyone here does things at the last minute. They always wait for the last minute. Last minute, what last minute? Can you plan your life a little bit? We need a little bit of programs. Plan life so you can make plans and grow. Don't do things at the last minute. I don't get why Italians always have to do things at the last minute. I know it's a way of living, it's a lifestyle, but you can't live just like that every day. Point number five, no discipline. I live in Australia, a beautiful country with lots of discipline. When I come here and I don't see discipline, it makes me upset. The discipline can be like lining up if you go somewhere, line up. The discipline could be kids going to school with a uniform. The other discipline is listening to when someone speaks or when someone does a speech. I, I, I deal with lots of Americans, Canadians, Australians and other nationalities who when you speak or you do a speech, they listen. They don't speak. It's very rude to talk while someone is talking. Here, everyone does. Everyone speaks whenever they want and I hate it so much. Something else I don't like. You know what, in Italy, they don't invest on young generations. There is no investment on the young ones. So the young ones need to leave the country to make it big somewhere else, to be appreciated somewhere else. This is sad. This, this has been happening since the old, old days. Something I hate, but it's funny, the obsession for made up rules. Here in Italy, they make up rules. Nobody respects the real rules, but they, they make up rules. Like, oh, you don't go for a swim after you eat. Why? Oh, because it's gonna get in your stomach and then you get sick and people believe it. <laughs> Another made up rule is you don't go in air conditioning. Air conditioning is bad for you. It makes you sick, it makes me sick. When it's hot outside, I want the air conditioning right on my face. And there are so many, and I want you to write a comment below and let me know what's, it, what's the made up rule in Italy that you found when you came to Italy. There are so many. You can write so many comments about it. Another thing I hate, is that you don't have freedom to be who you want to be, to be, to do what you want. There's always someone judging you, telling you what to do. This is mainly in South of Italy, okay? Not everywhere in Italy. But everyone is always watching and saying, oh, this person is doing this, or oh, Vincenzo is doing that. Why do that? I do what I want. Leave me alone. Second last thing I, I hate so much is the fake Italian food at tourist traps. So, so bad. I hate it, okay? Let me tell you, since COVID, things have improved in uh, tourist cities because not many people from around the world traveled and lots of Italians were traveling around Italy. So the tourist traps kind of changed a little bit, okay? You can go to Rome and find a good carbonara pretty much everywhere in these days. But always be careful because there are so many, so many tourist traps. 
and you need to learn how to avoid them. The last thing that I really care about this is the fact that you cannot find disabled services everywhere. So if you're a disabled person, you find it very difficult to go around Italy, okay? Because they're not prepared. And this is something we need to work hard because disabled people come first. We need disabled people to be able to come to Italy and enjoy themselves like everybody else. We need everyone to be able to go on the Pisa Tower or to go anywhere. You must find a way to get anyone anywhere, no matter of their disabilities. Guys, let me know in a comment below what you think of the 10 things I hate. Maybe you have more things that you hate about Italy. So now is the time to share it with us in a comment. Now the fun part. What do I love about Italy? And, you know, I love a lot of things. The thing I love the most about Italy is the food. The food is so good. The food is one of the best, if not the best in the world. And I'm not saying this, you say it. People who come to Italy say it. Why? Because in every region you go to, every city, you find different food. Food that you will never explore and enjoy in your country. Italian food is the best in Italy. Outside of Italy you can find great representation, great Italian food recreated. But the real Italian food can be found in different cities, in different homes. And that's the beauty of Italy. You can go from Mediterranean diet, you can go to the north, you can have beautiful uh, salami, amazing cheeses. We have so many cheeses here in Italy, don't imagine. We have more than 400 different types of cheeses, so that you know. You know, people don't know this. People think France has more. France has just about over 100, you know. There's so much that we have, but people don't know. Because you need to discover more this country to learn more about the food. Because here it's not just pizza and bolognese, it is more than that. Another thing I love about Italy is the kindness and joy of people. Here people are so wonderful, so kind, joyful, they want to help you, they want to be with you, uh, they, 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 they want to spend time, quality time with you, invite you home, cook nice meals, like it's, it's so, people are so important here. So when you come here, always say good morning, buonasera, ciao, look people in the eyes. They really need this, they need to connect with you. Always connect with people when you come to Italy. The third thing I really love here is the love for life. And we got this from the nonnies because people that come from the war, many other countries as well where, you know, people that survived the war, all they want now is the happiness, is the, uh, the, the love for life. The simplicity, like being on the table together, enjoying a meal with family, have a glass of wine. That simplicity, that's enjoying life, you know, or just go out for a stroll and have a gelato. Um, just just uh, enjoy life, honestly, like there is no tomorrow and they're very good here in Italy for that. What I love, the cities. Oh, traveling around Italy, going to explore these beautiful cities, just to mention Florence, my favorite, Verona, you can go to Taormina, you can go to Rome, come on guys, Rome, uh, or just a wonderful uh, town like Positano, uh, or whatever, you know, Siena, there is so many, they're all different one another. You know, you come to my city, Pescara, they're all different, they all have something different to give you. And it's so unique. The traditions, traditions, especially for food, is so, so important. Keeping those traditions alive is what make us Italians, right? Italy's been around for such a long time and traditions need to be kept. We can't just become like everybody else. We need to be proud of our traditions, the good ones, of course, and keep them going. And when you come here and you travel to different cities, you see lots of traditions. And I just love to learn about them. I love it because it's something that makes who we are. Okay, so if I go to Florence tomorrow, people are very different to where I am, Pescara. Different traditions, different way of living, and that's what makes us so special. And this is pretty much everywhere in the world when you travel in different countries. People are different because of different traditions. And that's, that's the beauty of traveling to learn about, you know, that culture. Values is something else I really care about, and I want my family to, uh, you know, have values. I want Sebastian to have values. Uh, values is what makes who you are. Respect for other people, being kind, uh, giving, and, and, and also uh, care about other people. It's so important. And, and have emotions. It's all part of the values, you know. Have feelings for people. Don't be cold. Be nice. The world needs people with values. It is important for us. Everyone should be like that. I love the fashion here, especially in summer. Every, when I come here, I see these beautiful ladies or old men. 
on the bicycle, all dressed up, beautiful dresses. And they, where are they going? They're just going to buy milk. Or they're just going from, for, from home to, I don't know, a stroll. Everyone is so elegant. Everyone is so beautiful. And no matter the age, you know. And the fashion is really, really important. Maybe they don't have a lot of money in the pocket, but they always look like millionaires. And it's so important to, to look good, like to, to respect yourself. See, I, I live in Australia and I love to, my freedom of going out with a singlet and I can go in underwear to the shops, nobody would say anything, and I love that. But I also like to see people when they care about themselves and look after themselves. Not just ladies, even boys. What do I love about Italy? The wines. Guys, wines, we have indigenous wines in Italy. You know what that means? We have more than 1,200 wineries in Italy. Four times more than France, which is coming second. You know what that means? These are big numbers. But we have not just Sauvignon Blanc and Merlot and whatever. Indigenous wines that come from Italy, Montepulciano d'Abruzzo, Montepulciano, uh, you have the Primitivo from Puglia, you have the Barolo, my favorite wine, the Sangiovese, uh, the Pecorino, the Trebbiano d'Abruzzo, we got the, you know, so much. So honestly, this is such a long list of wines that we have. So every region you visit, every city you visit, they have a specific wine. Okay, Amarone, I love it, Amarone from Veneto. Uh, specific wines from the area. There is a town in Sicily uh, called Trapani, there is a winery there, all, because Trapper is famous for tuna, they have amazing tuna there, a winery just creates wines to pair with tuna. That's how crazy this is. So when you order wines in Italy, you really need to learn about the wine, if it goes well with your food. So learn about it, because it is an experience. Uh, and people care about this, I care about this, I want you to care, I want you to experience this. Don't be a tourist when you come here. Feel Italy. The second last thing I really love is the respect for people. Well, I'll give you an example. If you drive, everyone is synchronized. Nobody respects the rules, but on the road, everyone is synchronized. In Australia, I see people, you know, giving, but, you know, swearing or being a little bit rude on the road. Yeah, you don't see it much. One, because of the respect. The second is because you never know. <laughs> you might find the wrong person there and mm, it's not going to end up well. So people are a little bit respectful, but they're also a little bit scared uh, of what is coming. Um, but another thing is the respect for old people, uh, which is very special and important to respect the elders, uh, respect on the road, on the street, uh, the good morning to everyone, the good afternoon, even if you don't know someone. Good morning is a, is a sign of respect, you know. This comes more from the older generation and I think everyone should continue this beautiful, respectful uh, tradition. Last but not least, guys, when I come to Italy, I feel alive. I spent a week in Naples and I think that I felt the most alive ever in my life in Naples. People are full of joy. Everyone is on the street chatting, talking, dancing, singing, eating. And it's beautiful. You can go anywhere in Italy, everywhere. You see people out, walking, kids playing, people eat gelato, coffee, having aperitivo in the afternoon, going out late at night. Everyone is here because they want to feel alive. And I want to feel alive. This is a love. When I come to Italy, I want to feel this. I love it. I do miss Australia. I do love Australia. And I do feel alive in Australia. But coming to Italy on holiday and going to the piazza, it's just magical it's something so special it does happen in other parts of the world i know but this is my story about italy now i want to know your story where are you from and what do you love only what you love about where you're from guys i hope you enjoyed this please let me let me know in a comment below if i missed anything or if you don't agree with something um, we're here to talk we're here to share opinions and i'm waiting for yours so thank you so much for watching this episode e ora Non si mangia. <ride> Vincenzo Splate.